My name is James, and if you were anything like me, uh, you were dreaming about getting a telescope, and you were probably thinking about the 11 inch is what you really, really wanted. And I'm gonna try to show you that this uh, eight inch telescope can do just about everything 11 can do uh, under normal circumstances. Um, and there's ways to get around and make it just as even. Now, when I uh, bought my telescope, I couldn't afford the 11 inch. There was just no way. It was way too expensive. But I also knew that I wanted something I could upgrade, so I got the DX mount. So I could use the 8 inch, the 9 inch, the 11 inch. Um, so that's what I got, and that's what I'm going to show you today. Alright, so the 11 inch is about $2,000 more than the 8 inch. But it's only 800 millimeters more powerful than the 8 inch. But there's a ways around that. If you use a full frame camera, you're going to get the, on the 8 inch, you're going to get a 2032 millimeter uh, telescope. But if you use a crop sensor camera, it's going to turn it into over 3,000 millimeters, which makes it more powerful than 11 inch at $2,000 less. So if you want to save money, get the 8 inch, get a crop sensor camera, which is easily half the price of a full frame camera, and you'll actually have a stronger, more powerful telescope, same f-stop as you would on the 11 inch telescope. Now if you don't believe me, just try taking a picture of the moon with an 8 inch telescope with a crop sensor camera you're going to find out that you're cutting up part of the moon, a full moon. Now take a picture of a with 11 inch telescope with a full frame camera on a full moon you'll actually get basically all the moon. You might cut off just a tiny bit but that would be the difference. So if you want to save money and you want to stay the same amount of power actually this is more powerful than 11 inch uh, yeah, go this go this route. Now here's one option that I can do. This is a Metabones Ultra adapter. Normally when I attach this to my camera, uh, let's say I had a 50 millimeter lens, it now turns the lens into a 35 millimeter lens, giving me the impression that it, my crop sensor camera now is a full sensor camera. Now I'm not exactly sure what this is doing to the telescope, but what I do know is then instead of the f10 telescope it's now a f7.1 because this adapter gives me one f-stop faster so those are just little tiny options you can have to tweak your telescope 